writing a multi-step equation for a real-world situation. The sum of the four angle measures of a convex quadrilateral. So a convex quadrilateral is just a regular quadrilateral like you're used to seeing. Um, just a four-sided closed figure. Um, the four angles or the sum of the four angles is going to add up to 360 degrees. So this angle plus this angle plus this one plus this one, the total is going to be 360 degrees. Um, then it tells me, suppose that a convex quadrilateral has angle measures of 90. I'm going to put my 90 here. That one looks the closest to a right angle. 2y minus 10 and 6y plus 5. I don't have any information for the fourth angle, the last one, just these three. One, two, three. So write an expression for the degree measure of the fourth angle. Well, I know that all four of these have to add up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to start there and work backwards. So I know I'm going to have to start with 360 degrees and then I have to subtract out those three so that I'm left with whatever this angle will be. So first I'm going to subtract out 90, then subtract 2y minus 10. Now I'm going to put this in parentheses because I'm subtracting that entire thing, not just the 2y or just the 10. I have to subtract both of those terms. And then I need to subtract, same thing with with this angle, I'm subtracting that entire thing, not just the 6y or just the 5, the entire thing. So there's my expression. Technically, um, I'm done. This is an expression for the degree measure of the fourth angle. The thing I'm going to do now is just simplify. So when we're simplifying expre expressions, excuse me, we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is distribute to get rid of any parentheses. So we're just taking this and trying to, to make it simpler, to simplify it, to get rid of some things if we can and make it just a little easier. So we're going to distribute to get rid of any parentheses and then we're going to combine any like terms we can. So I'm going to draw lines here to separate my expression into sections. So I have a 360, then I'm subtracting the one angle, 90, then I'm subtracting the second angle, then I'm subtracting the third angle. So to distribute, I'm going to be dealing with just one of these little sections at a time. So I'm going to distribute just with this set of parentheses. And then I'm going to do that one. But I'm going to do them separately. Like two little individual mini problems within a bigger one. So I have 360 minus 90. Then right here, I need this is the same as negative 1 times what's inside. So negative 1 times 2y would give me a negative 2y and negative 1 times negative 10 is a positive 10. So I've taken that negative 1 and spread it across both of those terms or multiplied it across both of those terms. Now I'm going to do the same thing but just with this last section, this last set of parentheses. Again, there's kind of a hidden 1 right there. It's negative 1 times everything inside. So negative 1 times 6y and negative 1 times 5. So that'll make this negative 6y and minus 5. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to erase these little lines now because I don't need them to help me visually with these sections. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So I have a constant here. That's a number with no variables attached. I have another constant. I have a plus 10 and I have a minus 5. 
So those four terms are like terms because they're all constant terms. So these four I can combine together. So I'm going to rearrange this a little bit and put all of these next to each other. So 360 minus 90 plus 10 minus 5. So those are all of my green ones together. Then these two both have y. So I'm going to combine those two together, my blue ones. So I'll put these two next to each other on the end. So these were my two y terms. Those two are like terms. These are my constant terms. Those are all like terms. And now I just need to combine them. So 360 minus 90, get my calculator here. So 360 minus 90 plus 10 minus 5 gives me 275. So the green all together makes 275. Now over here, if I lose two y's, and I'm saying lose because of the negative here, so if I lose two y's and then I lose six more y's, all together I've lost, or I have negative eight y's. So my final expression here is 275 minus eight y. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. That minus is kind of giant. So the expression to represent this fourth angle right here is 275 minus 8y.